What is going on everybody, Andy Coinbush, you're here back with a brand new High Limit Coinbush video for you all today. In today's video we're going to be doing a $10 million buy-in, and they gave us 1,000 quarters to get started today. Super, super expensive game. Luckily they gave us plenty enough quarters, so wish me luck everybody. Hopefully this game right here goes phenomenal. Uh, they got a great big old like, wall of gold in there today. And poker chips, if you count these like towers on the sides here. The pinkish purple towers are $5,000 chips. The orange ones are uh, $10,000 chips. We got two stacks of cash on the left and the right corners. Three $1 chips up front, fairly close to going. Yeah, each one of those is worth 503 quarters if we can win them. And um, on the uh, white shelves, they got two smaller dollar sum money mystery bags along with uh, two ginormous towers made out of $25,000 chips way back there. So those great big old tall uh, brown and white towers. So they got it loaded up real good today. Wish me luck, everybody. Hopefully this goes really good. Oh, wow, there we go. Got a whole bunch of gold right there. Wow, look at that. It's just raining gold out of there. I think we've done one all three of the one dollar chips. Indeed we did. Let me get these out of the loot chute real quick. All right, here they are. So should we go ahead and turn those in, get our 1,500 quarters? Yeah, let's do it. We'll be right back. All righty, I am back. So I got that loot chute cleared out. We got the quarters out of there and all that gold that we had won. We've won a lot of gold so far. It could potentially be a new record win for the gold bars today. I sure do hope so. And uh, we got... Plenty of quarters now. We cashed in the three one dollar chips that gave us fifteen hundred more quarters. So yeah, we're we're doing really good on this game right here. But uh, we're going to have to win the poker chips out of there, obviously, if we're going to make our ten million dollars back. There might be close to twelve to fifteen million dollars worth of chips in there. I mean, these towers back here, the twenty-five thousand dollar towers, are ginormous. I might say those are going to really, really put us in the green if we can win those out of there. But uh, so far, I've not seen a green earbud or a red earbud. Basically, we haven't won nothing that we get to turn in in order to get the stuff off of the white shelf. So it's kind of looking like we're going to have to pay double the original buy-in. So today, that would be $20 million to have them uh, put all that stuff into the play field. Which is totally okay with me. I mean, we don't know what could be hidden inside the mystery bags. And they got two dollar sign money mystery bags in there. Not the ginormous ones, but the uh, smaller ones. Hey, it's still two mystery bags, though. Hopefully they're loaded up real good. All right, let's get that loose you cleared out. All right, there we go. Perfect. So uh, let's continue pushing. Goodness gracious, there's still uh, two or three, no, there's two ounces of gold stuck down there in the loot chute. That may start a traffic jam, I don't know. But uh, we're going to continue pushing just for a little bit. Uh, we might call the staff back here, here in about uh, maybe a minute or two, just to see if they could rearrange some of this stuff. Because both of these gold towers right here are touching the glass, and the staff rearranged anything that is stuck on the edge. And uh, both these stacks of cash are stuck as well. They're touching the glass, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, we'll definitely call the staff back here here in just a few minutes. Have them uh, rearrange this stuff right here. Oh, yeah, there we go. We got a couple gold bars off of that right side there. Let's keep up the good work, keep up the good progress. Yeah, to be honest with you, I wasn't really expecting to see that much gold in there today. I was shocked when I seen that great big old ginormous golden wall. I was super, super shocked. Yeah, they actually called me this morning and said, hey, we got a good game for you. It's a uh, thousand quarter challenge for a ten million dollar buy-in and a great big old golden wall. Then when I 
accepted that offer, I was like, sure, I'll be there in about uh, 15, 20, 30 minutes, something like that. I was already driving close to the area at that time. I was going to stop by and play today anyway. I play every day, pretty much. I post videos seven days a week. But uh, anyway, when I first seen that golden wall, I was like, holy smokes. They wasn't lying when they said there's a humongous golden wall in there. All right, well, anyhow, uh, that was, you know, probably, I'd say about 75% of our quarters that we have. There's still one more basket that's about three-fourths of the way full sitting on top of the machine. But uh, anyhow, I think we're going to go ahead and call the staff back here just to see if they could rearrange this stuff right here. So anyhow, we'll be right back. Stay tuned, everybody. Alrighty, I am back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I called the casino staff back here and I told them that everything was, you know, stuck against the glass and whatnot. And they were like, well, we'll do a free reset for you. So anyway, they put the uh, two stacks of cash like right here on the edge in the center. Uh, there's 10,000 bucks in each stack of cash, by the way. I'm sure most of y'all already know that. And you can see what it says on the stack of cash. But I know there's a lot of new people watching and it seems like if I don't, you know, consistently answer the same questions, I'll get those comments, so. Anyway, we got uh, one of them stacks of cash. Let's get the other one out of there. One of them got stuck, one of them fell down. All right, there we go, we got both of them, sweet. So we are about to get the uh, two gigantic towers of gold. They're right here on the edge, right here in the center. I think they're both going to end up falling backwards, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, see what I'm saying? Uh, so we got a whole bunch of it. This one's about to go. And uh, just a friendly daily reminder, those little opening spaces on the left and the right side, the money that goes down in there does not go to me. Uh, that is actually going to the house. It goes into the machine inside this like huge uh, Tupperware box and that's the owner's money that he makes from this game so yeah I just thought I would clarify that I basically tell that in every single video but there's still a lot of comments people asking you know like what stuff means and whatnot so I just thought I would let y'all know uh, let's try to get these gold bars out of here. Oh wow, there's only like uh, five ounces of gold left to win. Now there's three, let's get them. Yeah, we've done really, really well on this game so far. So far it's been a huge success. Really, really enjoyed playing this game so far today. I'm sure you all have enjoyed watching as well, right? Yeah, they don't usually have that much gold in there, so it's pretty much a treat whenever they do have all that gold. All right, so anyhow, I'm going to double check through the quarters and the gold down there just to make sure we didn't win a five dollar chip or something. I definitely didn't see a green earbud or anything like that fall out of there. And say if uh, none of those items are down there, a five dollar chip, red earbud, or green earbud, I'll go ahead and pay double the original buy-in. So uh, that would be um, 20 million today. I'd make a 30 million dollar investment in total. So uh, let's do that and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, I am back. So we paid double the original buy-in. So in other words, we paid uh, 20 million dollars. Called the uh, casino staff back here. They took all that stuff that was on the uh, white shelves and they uh, stacked it all up into the play field. Now the five and the 10,000 dollar chip towers look like they may be a little bit difficult to win. I don't know. Well, they're all like on the sides and stuff. Typically, the towers on the sides take longer to fall down than stuff like in the center. I mean, really, the only thing they did put in the center was the two mixer bags. We done pushed both of those out of there, as you can see right here. So, I don't know. Should we go ahead and open up one of them? Yeah, I feel like that's a pretty good idea. Really, really excited to see what they got stashed inside the uh, mixer bag. So, let's start with this one right here. Hopefully it's loaded up really, really good. We're about to find out. Oh my goodness, wow, check this out. That is absolutely phenomenal. We got a $1 chip, so it's 500 more quarters. We got the uh, Mr. Money keychain. That right there could be worth $1 all the way up to a billion dollars. That's super exciting. And we got four white dice. Those multiply the value of all the poker chips that we win and the cash. We got 20 grand in cash today. 
and we got four golden dice so that'll multiply the gold and you best believe we've won tons of gold today i don't even know how much we won in total yet i haven't counted any of it up but i will tell you this could be a new record win for the gold but uh, they built those $25,000 chip towers on the sides of the pusher, like on the left and the right. So the odds of us losing some of that to the white shelves is a pretty high chance of that happening. I hope not, but you never know, really. It's hard to predict what might happen on these games. Yeah, see what I'm saying? However, we do got one more mystery bag, which that means we have a second chance of getting another special chip or special earbud that will get us a free tower or something like that or potentially a free reset for the banker slots like a $50 chip and all those all those special chips come with free resets for the white shelf so uh, anyway yeah it would be super nice if we could get you know another chip like that in the mister bag or something Oh yeah, there we go. We got one of them $10,000 chip towers. Nice, look at that. It's just raining poker chips as of right now. Well, well, we're finally starting to make some good money. I mean, we've already won a lot, you know, a gold and stuff. But what I'm referring to is like actual poker chips. And, you know, stuff like that. Something that's actually definitely going to make our 10 million bucks back. Yeah, we got 10 million in this game today. Yeah, yesterday we did a one quarter challenge with a 10 million dollar buy-in and we bought in twice. So technically it was a uh, two quarter challenge for 20 million. So. Yeah, yesterday's video, it went really, really good. We made a huge profit. We got all the uh, ginormous towers to fall down fairly quick, so... Yeah, but that video, I think it's only got like 14,000 views right now. So, you know, if, if you haven't seen that video yet, I highly suggest you go and check it out. It's a really, really good video. But it was a little bit short, and usually the shorter videos don't, you know, perform as good as the longer ones. I'm hoping this one today is at least half an hour long. Like I said, it all depends on how long it takes us to knock down all these towers. That's really all there is to it. And you know, the quantity of the special earbuds and special tips make a difference as well if they got, you know, multiple uh, special earbuds that get you free towers. You know, the video's gonna be a lot longer, stuff like that. But usually on smaller buy-ins, There's not that many special items in there. I mean, we might get lucky today. We got one more mystery bag to open up. And you know, just by feeling of it, it feels like it has something pretty large in there. And it puts me in the mind of an earbud. You know, how we win the green earbuds. Sometimes we'll get a white one, a blue one, a pink one, or a uh, yellow one. I haven't seen a yellow one in a long time though. That gets us a free tower of $1,000 chip. And the blue one gets you a $5,000 tower. Could be a tower the size of that, or multiple towers like that, or one ginormous one that takes up the whole machine. It's hard to tell. And again, the buy-in quantity, you know, dictates how large they make the towers. If we do like half a billion dollar buy-in game, then you best believe they're gonna make it really, really large. But if we only do like a five million, there might be two towers about the size of that, and that's it. That's all they'll put in there. And maybe a couple spare chips, like across the play field or something. So, uh, anyway, them two towers on the right side are moving a whole bunch. About to get some more chips right here on the left. Yeah, at least we're making some good progress today. I do apologize if I don't sound as enthusiastic as normal. I've got like a headache again today. I had one a couple days ago. It's like sinus pressure and stuff like that. It just makes it hard to uh, talk louder or be more enthusiastic. I just don't want the headache to get worse. Now normally what I do for headaches, I'll take 
some sort of medicine for it, like Tylenol, ibuprofen, and then I'll take a hot shower. Now, for some reason, a hot shower just helps with headaches tremendously, especially with migraines and stuff like that. I've only had like one migraine in my entire life. Yeah, I remember that day, my head was hurting really bad. I was laying on the couch all day long. And if I got up, I felt like I was gonna get sick. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm not gonna, you know, talk much about it. I don't wanna make anybody else sick. But you know what I'm saying. You know, when you have a headache, it can make you feel sick at your stomach. I mean, I couldn't even move. Like, I mean, I just had to sit in the dark room all day long. It was terrible. I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy, really. So, uh, what do y'all think? Y'all about ready to uh, find out what's in that second mystery bag? I think I am. I've been looking forward to it all around right here. Yeah, but we still got quite a few quarters. I'm just trying to uh, get these remaining four towers out of here. You know, before opening up that second mystery bag. So I'll tell you what, after this basket of quarters here, we will open up the mystery bag. And I still haven't asked them what that uh, Mr. Money keychain is worth. Well, considering it's a $10 million buy-in, I mean, now that I think back to previous games when we've won that keychain on smaller buy-ins like this, it's not been worth any more than like a hundred grand. So, I mean, I don't know. It might be worth more today. But usually you're looking at 10000 to to 100 grand on smaller buy-ins like this. But if today we would have done a billion dollar buy-in, one billion dollars, and we would have won that keychain, um, it could possibly be worth about like, uh, I don't even know. Sometimes it's been worth two or three million. I think the most it's ever been worth was five and a half million dollars. It was absolutely insane. We made out like a bandit on that game. I think that was on the uh, two billion dollar buy-in that we done. Yeah, I bought in for two billion, I think, once. And, uh, man, I tell you, I don't plan on ever spending that much money again unless the setup in the machine is just absolutely, you know, breathtaking. They're charging a two billion for it. It's the only way I'd ever pay that much money. But if they charge us two billion on a game that looks like it ain't even worth ten billion, odds are they're just trying to rip you off and make money off of you. Yeah, they've done that to uh, several people I know. Some people here at this location right here, and you know some of the other. Employees that work here, they've tried it as well. Alright, so let's see. Uh, we're about to get that $5,000 tower on the right side, I think. Both of them, actually. I think they might both be stuck against the glass. They just moved a little bit right there. Oh my goodness. Now, if they would all just fall backwards, then we could just push all the poker chips out of there really easily. Well, to an extent, I mean, they would be on the sides. Sides are difficult to push sometimes, but it'd be much easier to win than what we're doing right now, just trying to knock down the towers. At least we'd consistently be getting something back, whether it be five grand, 10 grand, 20 grand. We've been playing on this round a long time already, though. At least, what, 25 minutes? Yeah, 25 minutes, 33 seconds, so. Oh, nice. There we go. Jackpot, baby. It's about time we got one of them, at least. All right. Now let's try to aim for uh, one of these towers on the left side here. All right. Let's see. Now, this video might be out a little bit later than normal today. Maybe by about uh, 3, 3.30, something like that. I've been uploading earlier, like 1, 2 o'clock, but... Uh, yeah, this video might be out a little bit later, but um, it's much better than 
what I used to do. Sometimes I wouldn't have a video on here till like 10 o'clock at night. I'd normally post about 7.30, 8 o'clock. And, uh, you know, everything just got better when I was posting earlier like this. You know, instead of uh, starting to do other things during the day, like, you know, I would always get this out of the way first. That way, you know, I have the rest of the day off and I can, you know, do other stuff that I want to get done. Or if I have stuff that I have to get done, I can just spend all day trying to do that without having to worry about getting home and, you know, having to get my camera equipment and all that stuff and having to stop by here and make a video. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this location right here, it's not like a huge casino like I've told y'all before. It's a uh, like mini gaming room, gaming parlor type place. There's like lots of skill games here, like slot machines and whatnots like that. They got vending machines here. They also have like a uh, more kid-friendly section to this building right here. It has like a lot of arcade games, like claw machines with like stuffed animals and stuff like that in there. You know what I'm saying. And they also got like food here, concession stands. They sell like pizza. Hamburgers, hot dogs, stuff like that. I mean, it's pretty good food, but it's, you know, I wouldn't want to eat it every single day. I try to eat healthy. I like to eat, like, Japanese, like, you know, chicken, steak, shrimp, uh, rice, mixed vegetables, and, uh, you know, that really good sauce on it. You can also get, like, teriyaki sauce, yum yum sauce. All that stuff is really, really good. Uh, anyhow, we only got a couple quarters left. Matter of fact, what we got right there. So should we just throw them all in at once? Yep, there they are. So let's see what we can win with this push right here. Come on, big money. Wow. All right, so uh, now the moment we all have been waiting for. Let's go ahead and open up the smaller dollar sign money mystery bag right here. I'm hoping it's loaded up real good. Like I said, it kind of feels like there might be an earbud in there. So I don't know. We're about to find out. Oh my goodness. We got pretty much the most valuable earbud in the game. Well, for free tower anyway. Um, we got the white earbud. So that right there will get us a free tower made out of $25,000 chips. That is absolutely outstanding. And let's see what else we got in this one. All right. Nice. So we got another $1 chip. So that's 500 quarters. We still haven't turned in that other one that we won from earlier. So we'll turn that one in here in just a second. But, uh... We got three more white dice and three gold dice. Heck yeah, this is going to be a super, super humongous win today. I'm really looking forward to uh, seeing how much we can make off of this game. So anyway, uh, we lost quite a bit to the white shelf, like I said. And, you know, you, you obviously can see it. Um, whenever we turn in that white earbud, they'll do a free reset for all that stuff. And they'll also build us that free tower of $25,000 chips. So anyway, let's call the staff back here and we will get right back to pushing. Stay tuned, everybody. Alrighty, I am back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I turned in that wide earbud and those uh, $1 chips with one that gave us a thousand extra quarters. And they uh, built us a ginormous tower back there on the pusher, completely made out of $25,000 chips. There's four poker chips in a row. And I'm just going to say that's every bit of a $10 million tower, if not a little bit more. And on top of that, there's a whole bunch of $25,000 chips scattered throughout the play field. They took all the stuff that we lost to the white shelf. They put that back in there as well. And they also I took those big old towers that was being real stubborn on the left and the right. And they moved them more like over toward the center, I guess. So hopefully those are much easier to push out of there now. Yeah, like I said, that tower on the pusher is absolutely humongous. That's definitely going to... We'll probably make our buying money back just by that one tower right there, honestly. And also, I asked them what that keychain was worth, and I think you all are going to be happy about it just as much as I'm happy about it. They said it was worth 250 grand today, so a quarter of a million, and that's usually a little bit more than it's worth on 10 million dollar buying games and just so you know 
The white dice that we've won will multiply the value of that keychain along with the cash and the poker chips. So, uh, yeah. Hopefully we can, uh, get this big old tower to go. Hopefully we can win it all out of there today. Depending on how much money we make on this game, we might try a very, very expensive game tomorrow. Maybe a hundred million dollar game or something. Well, it just depends what they have to offer. If it's loaded up good or not. Oh yeah, check it out. We're about to get this tower here. I think we need to push across the whole field though to keep all three of these towers moving nice and evenly. Alright, let's try to get some quarters stacked up behind all these towers. Might help them move a little bit. There we go. We got 25 grand on that right side. We're about to get another $25,000 chip over there. Check that out. It's really close to going. Yeah, but to be honest with you, I'm a little bit shocked that they made the free tower $25,000 chips that massive on, you know, a $10 million buy-in game. Most of the time, it ain't even... A quarter of the size of that. Sometimes it's just one small tower that's about stacked up to there or something. Oh wow, we just got the uh, tower on the left fall backwards. That's pretty good. So I'm hoping everything, you know, pushes good. I'm hoping we don't have to pay the extra hundred grand to have them rearrange any of these towers. Uh, as long as we don't lose any of this to the white shelves, I doubt we'll have to pay a hundred grand today. So let's continue stacking the quarters up real high in there. Go for a max, maximum push right here. The biggest push possible. All right, let's see what that does. White well, tower on the pusher, I will tell you, it's making some significant progress. It's really, really close to going. We just need people to hit that subscribe button and hit that like button. That will definitely help this ginormous tower move right here. And also, uh, share this video right here with a friend or a family member. Just hit the share button, and you can send the link to people through Facebook Messenger, a regular text message on your phone, Instagram, or any sort of social media platform. Facebook's the most common, I think. So yeah, be sure you share this video with a couple friends or family members. I would appreciate that. It would really, really help out the channel a whole bunch if you'd do that for me. Oh yeah, we're going to get that tower back there. Look at that. It's losing tons of chips down there at the uh, base of it. It's about ready to go, you all. I promise you it's about to go. Come on, nice push. Fall off of there. I don't know what's going to go first, the one on the right or the one in the center of the pressure. Nice, there it goes. Heck yeah. That was absolutely amazing. Wow, that was a huge push right there. So yeah, they've had this uh, brand new coin pressure machine here for about, I'm going to say one month now, three, four weeks. Definitely it's definitely been three weeks, so maybe about four weeks to a month, maybe a few days over a month, and, you know, we've been playing this one consistently. We may have played three games on the uh, older machine, the one with the white wall and the blue shelves. We may have played three games on that one, but I only posted one of the videos on that machine. Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty good machine, but overall, I just like this one a lot better. This one's a lot more new, and it's, you know, it just looks a whole lot better than the old one for some reason. You know what I'm saying? I definitely enjoy playing the old one a lot better. I mean, the new one, sorry. I don't know what I'm saying. I was looking at that tower on the right side. I noticed it's stuck against the glass right here. So if we do decide to call them back here, um... They're either going to count that tower as a win, or they're going to uh, rearrange it for us. We won't have to pay the hundred grand since it's stuck against the glass. 
But anyway, this new machine right here, it seems like it just pushes so much better. You know, even though, you know, considering we can't put that many quarters in there without them getting stuck behind the plexiglass back there, this is still an awesome machine. I love it. Definitely the best machine that they've ever had here. Uh, I was thinking about playing the Pardo Silver Machine again. Uh, maybe on this channel. I mean, I can't upload on my second channel for now anyway because I've lost the email and password to it and I got a brand new phone and I no longer have access to my old phone. So, yeah, it's pretty unfortunate. I mean, I'll have to go through the account recovery thing. I plan to do that here in a day or two, maybe three days or something. As soon as possible, really. Because I was, you know, uploading a lot of videos on that second channel. Post the videos on the older machines and stuff. But yeah, I wouldn't mind doing a Pato Silver Coin Busher video for you all. Maybe a little bit, you know, less entertaining than this right here. But uh, the only way I'd play that Pato Silver on uh, this channel right here is if they had like a huge tower of quarters or something like that in there. That would be awesome. Yeah, I'm just waiting on this tower on the right side to go. Being incredibly stubborn right now. Oh my gosh, it just moved forward a whole bunch right there. Let's continue putting quarters in there. Oh, it's wiggling. It's wobbling back and forth. You see it? Oh my goodness, I don't know. Nice, there it goes. We got it. That was absolutely insane. I don't know what was making it shake like that. It's crazy. I wasn't shaking the machine or nothing. Yeah, they got... At least seven, ten security cameras. Matter of fact, there's one or more cameras inside this machine, probably behind the wall right there that can see through the thing and it's watching every single move I make. There's tons of uh, security cameras surrounding these machines. So, uh, anyway, let's put the rest of these quarters in this basket right here. Uh, there we go. That's what I was wanting to do. Yeah, we got probably a thousand quarters in this basket, so let's put them all on the right side, try to get this last little bit of cash out of here, and uh, we'll be set. This has been a terrific game today so far. It's been a good round. I'm thinking this video right here might be close to 40 minutes long today. I would hope it'd be every bit of 40 minutes long, because we've been playing forever. And I know you all enjoy the longer uh, videos. All right, let's push that little bit of money out of there on the right side and we'll be set. Is that 10 grand? Yep, 10,000 bucks to go. Let's get it. Alrighty, we got it all out of there today. That is absolutely fantastic. It's been one heck of a game today, I'll tell you that. So. Anyway, now it's time to call the staff back here. They will put all those white dice and gold dice that we've won on the pusher. And uh, using their quarters, we got to roll them down to the lower shelf. Whatever numbers they're facing upwards, that's going to be our multipliers for this game right here. So let's call them back here. We'll be right back. Alrighty, I am back. Let's get right back to pushing. I called them back here. They put all them dice that we won on the pusher. Uh, let's see. I didn't even count up how many dice there were in total. My goodness. So... Let's see, three, four, five, six, seven white dice, and three, four, five, six, seven gold dice. So 14 dice total today. And my goodness, they are all ending on some really good numbers. We got double sixes right there. Let's see what that last gold dice is going to end on. Well, it landed on a one. The ones do not count at all, by the way. We went on two to six. So 13 out of the 14 dice landed on winning numbers. So I'm going to count everything up, multiply our winnings and our gold by all this. And I'll let y'all know what we end up winning today from a 
a ten million dollar buy-in so we'll be right back stay tuned y'all you all are not going to believe how much money we ended up making today from a ten million dollar buy-in wow this right here is absolutely unbelievable i cannot believe we ended up winning this much money today so we ended up winning twenty million four hundred and forty five thousand dollars that was all the uh, poker chips the cash and the value of that keychain all put together and today the uh, white dice totaled up to 34 so i'm going to get to multiply my winnings by 34 and in total that put us up to six hundred and ninety five million one hundred and thirty thousand dollars from a ten million dollar uh, buy in so that means we profited six hundred eighty five million one hundred and thirty thousand dollars today Honestly, we would not have won that much if it wasn't for that free tower of twenty five thousand dollar chips Because I counted all those twenty five thousand dollar chips From that particular round the tower and all the ones that were scattered everywhere. There was a little over twelve million dollars. So Yeah, that definitely brought us up tremendously because there was not that many poker chips in there to begin with in the original setup it was mainly all gold so anyhow that is an exceptional win today so be sure you leave a like on the video if you enjoyed that uh, we post videos every single day seven days a week so be sure you subscribe that way you see content like this every day and now moving on to how much gold we won this is unbelievable we won 211 ounces of gold today which is a crazy amount of gold a lot more than we typically win and the uh, gold dice totaled up to 25, so that put us up to 5,275 ounces of gold. Spot price of gold is 2,680 an ounce. Means we got $14,137,000 in gold today. So that right there is like, you know, 4,137,000 profit from our original buy-in just for the gold bars alone. That is crazy. That is a, definitely one of the biggest wins we've ever had for the gold before. So, yeah, be sure you leave a like on the video just for that. And last but not least, we won 1,742 quarters. Divide that by four to get the dollar amount. That means we got $435.50 in quarters. That is an awesome win for the quarters right there. Awesome game in general. So, be sure you leave a like on the video if you enjoyed that right there. So, anyhow... That is extremely good for a $10 million investment, so if y'all enjoyed today's video, you want to see videos like this every day, be sure you leave a like on the video, hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell icon, that way you're up to date for future videos, I upload every day, and uh, share this video with a friend or a family member, or multiple friends and family members, and uh, if you want to check out yesterday's video, that will pop up at the bottom right of the screen, if you want to subscribe, that will appear at the top right, if you want to check out this video on the bottom left right here, that's one that I think you'll like that will appear at the bottom left and if you want to subscribe to the second channel that will appear at the top left. So with all that being said and stated I'll see you all on tomorrow's video. Y'all take care and have an exceptional day you all.